Hi, my name is Fallout, and because you people are a bunch of goddamn savages, my original 50 Games of Gambit video is creeping up on three quarters of a million views. Also, because Bungie <clears throat> improved the Gambit experience with Witch Queen, I've been getting hit with a ton of requests to go back in and do 50 more. Behind every YouTuber is a community, pushing them to reach greater heights. But behind every mediocre YouTuber, there's a bunch of jabronis encouraging you to do a flip when you climb just high enough. This is 50 more Games of Gambit, Witch Queen Edition. Real quick though, do you want fresh, ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep? Who wouldn't? That's why you gotta sign up with Factor. They are the sponsor of today's video. Factor's chef-created meals are fresh, never frozen, and designed by dietitians to ensure every meal is packed with premium, science-backed, nutritional quality. No more meal prep frustration. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in minutes, taking the guesswork out of what to make for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Why go for fast food when Factor meals arrive pre prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less. With how much time that saves a guy like me, I got more time to do streaming, make videos, game with friends, do whatever, rather than thinking about what's for dinner. Meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 27 plus meal options and 33 plus add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts, and more. Fitness starts with food, and Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious, purposeful eating, ingredients with integrity, and dietitian approved. What are you waiting for? Click my link down in the video description or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGFALLOUT120 for $120 off your order. Thank you, Factor. Factor. Game 1. Before launching the match, I take in a moment of peace and quiet at the tower. God, what the F am I even about to get into? I put together a Void 3.0 build, because it's good for ad clearing. That should mean I'll be okay for Gambit, right? Transmat firing, and we're off to a good start. The ad clear build is doing fine, and I even gunned down an invader on the beach. Nice. Later, during the primeval phase, we get invaded, and while I charge in to lay down my life for the cause, a teammate just casually leaps in and immediately gallerhorns the other guy. Huh, that seemed effective. We burn down the prime evil and hey game one is a win game two and damn we are off to a good start void 3.0 is rolling hard and we are dunking left and right my teammate is invading with g-horn and we managed to get our prime evil up and on the field before the enemy team even has 50 most dunked this one's as good as over out here trying to nuke the prime evil and what the hell oh right i heard there was something going on with ariana in gambit did that sh one tap me ariana guy goes wild with the invading and call us the warriors because we just blew a 100 to 48 moat lead and game two is a loss ah feels good to be back in gambit game three and it's time to sink or swim i'm whipping out ariana's foul to see what the hype is about a little loadout changing here and there and we're ready for transmat off to a good start and i hit the invasion portal only to immediately get a preview of what the next few hours of my life will be like deep Fried Savathunsi. Boys, we are pilgrims in an unholy land. I gotta try and get another shot at invading, so I hike up my skirt and hit the portal. Let's do this. <clears throat> After reviewing with my legal team, we will never acknowledge or speak of game three ever again. Thank you. Game four and the other team is a little bit of a head start right out the gate, but we're not too far behind. My teammate gets to the invasion portal first, which is kind of a bummer. I wanted to try invading with Ariana's vow for the first time ever, having never done it before, not even one time. We pull off a savage turnaround and manage to get our primeval on the field way before they do. Thankfully, that's never ended badly before. Portal's up, so I go for an invade. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm definitely seeing the appeal here. It's dumb as hell, but way more fun than blind rocket launcher spam. Game five, and now that invading is back on the menu, I'm rocking top tree Dawnblade because reasons. I'm in through the portal and oh yeah, I could get used to this. Hey, mighty fine barricade you got there would be a shame if I jump shot. Nice rocket launcher, by the way. Oh man, we've got primeval and they've only got 30 motes up. I love it. We've got this one for sure. A few moments later. Are you fucking kidding me? Game six and we're off to a normal start. I hop through the portal and shoot a man in the crotch. Business as usual. Looking for kill number two and what the hell? How did you tank that shot? I try to clean up but get murdered real good. Hmm. Back for another round of invading and doing fine so far. Oh, come on. Again? I know I shot you. Armor doesn't look unusual. Hmm. Seven Razil. Is that the magic number for Gambit Ariana tanking but only when the death at first glance perk goes away? Questions for later. Game six is a loss but I may have obtained vital information 
information. I'll call it a wash. Game seven, and we're doing a little loadout tweaking before dropping in. Changing a mod here, changing a mod there, and beefing Brazil up a little bit. Probably won't make the difference in too many engagements, but I want to be a dredging, so I'm doing it. The invading is going well-ish. Multi kills every time I go through the portal, but I'll be damned if I didn't get ganked from the grave by some goon's gallerhorn, goddammit. Even though we summon Primeval first, I shut my mouth about it, and we end up killing it first. Game seven is a much needed win. Game eight, my teammate is playing a dangerous game. You know, if you dunked those 14 and we drained even one moat, the invasion portal would open and we'd catch the other team with their pants on the ground. But nah, it's okay. Go get that one extra moat. Not like we're in a hurry out here. Miss my invasion window because I'm helping with ad clear, but all good. I get my chance later and make a beautiful mess. The game comes down to the wire, but in the end, we take home the win. Game nine, and once again, we could dunk and invade while the enemy has a nice juicy gray bar, but oh man, it's just so important to get that extra two. Shockingly, they invade us first, and even though they have a golden opportunity to nuke us back to the Stone Age, we only lose nine before I give them the old Boondock Saints treatment. The game's going pretty neck and neck. We've got both primevals on the field that we're both trying to kill. We're close to burning down ours, but we get invaded. All right, one bullet left in the mag. Stop the invader, end the game. It's hero moment time, baby. Uh, raspberries. I make up for it with a strong end game invade, putting down four and healing up the prime evil, giving our boys back home just enough time to get the job done. Game nine is a win. Game 10, and I still don't understand how so many people hold on to their moats after two waves when we could immediately open the portal. Ah, Jesus H, dunk next time, boy. Now get your ass up. We got work to do, brother. I invade and barely get a kill by the skin of my balls. Pretty sure that guy was about to send a rocket where the sun don't shine. I almost flop the invade, but get a buzzer beater headshot on the way back and rob the other guy of 15. We take those. Someone heads to our side and makes a mess using what else? Gallerhorn. I go for invade round two and end up trading with Galler boy. This guy's starting to get under my skin. We're being invaded in the late game and I head right to the beach. Woo! Get that rocket out of my house, baby. Yeah, you see this right here? It's how a man invades with a goddamned hand cannon. Game 10 is a win. Game 11 and our teammate beats me to the invade and portal. These things happen. At least he got himself a kill. GG, big guy. Back on the home front, we get invaded while holding a thick gray bar. And what the hell? Did you just kill the enemy invader with a glaive? You sick animal. I invade and witness a man literally out here trying to touch the sky. Unfortunately, I was so distracted by his beautiful wingspan, I get gunned down immediately. Fortunately, our momentum is strong enough that we murder the primeval first, and game 11 is a win. Game 12, and aw, oh, you guys only have three players? What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> my team dunks early for once, and I make my way into the invasion port. Hey! The game's going all right, but unfortunately, it looks like no one went in for invasion round two. I step in, albeit a tad late, and try to at least slow them down. It's all for naught, though, because they end up smoking their prime evil before we do. Hey, when did someone on our team quit? That's not fair. I myself would never take advantage of a team with fewer players on it. How completely dishonorable. <laughs> looks around nervously. Game 13, and right out the gate, we do a mass team dunk and send over multiple blockers, but, uh, wait, portal not open? Uh, hey! I've seen this one. Yep, dead on the beach while getting triple sucked because we could have opened the portal first, but didn't. Sounds about f***ing right. I know you'll never believe this, but game 13 is a loss and I'm going to bed. Game 14, it's a new day and we're heading back in sort of refreshed. The enemy has a thick gray bar and I'm foaming at the mouth as I yeet through the invasion portal. <laughs> hey, whoa, what the f***? Oh, wait. Wait a minute, gonna check something real quick. Uh-huh, guess I'm going back to Gallerhorn? Surely the old meta won't be that boring, right? After some mediocre invading, things come down to the wire and we take home the win. Now to rethink my loadout, game 15, and after a little tinkering, I'm landing on Shadebinder and Gallerhorn. How wonderfully vanilla. Game's about to start, my teammate and I begin the ceremonial nod off, proven to up team morale by 10%. We end up getting invaded and I simply fire vaguely in their direction for a kill. Yippee. Rest of the game goes about how you'd expect. Shadebinder Bill does okay. Both primevals are up on the field. We get invaded from the beach and pff, good God. Look at this. Look at this right here. If this image isn't the most gambit thing you've ever seen, I'll eat my shoes. Game 15 is a win. Game 16 and pff, <laughs> note to self. 
cold snap nades got the right idea, but ain't always on the ball. Of course, now that I'm on an ad clear build, nobody on the team wants to invade. Portal's just sitting there, and I mean, I got power ammo, so sure, why not? I rocket a first guy, and while I'm reloading my rocket to rocket another guy, I jump the corner too early and get rocketed by the guy I wanted to rocket. Gambit is exciting. Game 16 is a loss. Game 17, and I'm tinkering with a new ad clear build, cause eh, why not? A slick poison gun for this Gambit run, and those ads are as good as done. The build is doing fine at what it was made to do, but I still feel like I could be moving quicker. An invader pops in, and right as I think about maybe taking cover, a Gallarhorn smacks the tree I'm dropping a rift behind. That's instinct, baby. You can't teach that. I quickly learn that while my new loadout is great at trash clearing, we somehow need a little bit more team oomph for nailing the primeval. We lose game 17 by a bee's dick. Game 18, and hey, isn't there a build out there where you can potentially one-shot the primeval with one-two punch and a shoulder charge? Let's see if we can make this bed rock. I'm quickly reminded how much I enjoy ad clearing with the funnel cake SMG. We are ahead by a mile right now, and all we gotta do is dunk for primeval. Dude, dude, hello? Buddy, come on, buddy, what are you doing? Don't do this to me, man. Dunk! Come on, dunk, we can actually win! Hello? What is happening? Ah! Primeval's up, albeit a bit late, and of course I fat finger my input and waste my shoulder charge on a goddamn Donvoy. All right, I effed that up. Let's give that build another try. Game 19, and I'm not gonna F up this time. I'm not gonna F up this time. I'm not gonna F up this time. Oh God, fuck. I effed it up this time. Didn't think that melee would expend the shoulder charge. Ah! Perfect opportunity too. There were little thrall all over the stage to power up Worm God. We win game 19, but I haven't bopped the primeval yet. Try it again. Game 20 and E is melee. E is melee. E is melee. Hey, quick question. What is E? It's melee. <laughs> Man, the primeval stage might be a bitch, but it's fun to just turn your titan brain off and punch everything. Christ, on a cracker, we have a huge gray bar, and even though we are just begging to get invaded, we pull off a massive large blocker dump, and it's showtime. And by showtime, I mean I'm pretty sure I didn't land enough pellets to proc one to punch on the HUD, and my shoulder charge hit with all the strength of an apathetic third grader. Fortunately, my bubble will continue to strategically block off our primeval from all allied attacks. <laughs> I'm such a talented teammate. Game 20 is a deserved, for me, loss. Really quickly, I go to Mars to craft enhanced 1-2 punch, which requires less pellets to activate, and out of neutral element. Well, how about that? Game 21, and I'm gonna try changing to synthos for hopefully easier punch combo setup during primeval. Hopefully that makes the difference later on. Damn it, it didn't make the difference later on, and I still feel like I really need enhanced 1-2 punch. You miss one pellet and your whole build goes out the window. Yeah, yeah, we win. Yippee skippy. Titan cheese is too annoying to pull off. F*** it. I'm getting on my hunter. Game 22 and I'm putting together a sneaky boy camo build for invading shenanigans. I'm trying to get one more moat for 15 and someone keeps yeeting right in front of me at the last second, even when I go through the portal to the other side. Oh god, boys, help me help you. Ah, it does my heart good seeing someone on our team actually taking the initiative and invading with the portal open. Wait, didn't I make this build for invading? Yeah, f it's 3 a.m. and I think Gambit is microwaving my brain. We're in the end game now and I invade even though I only have one rocket because lol free power kills are free. I even murder someone with a primary weapon. That actually may be a Gambit world's first. I head back to our side with just enough time to hit the primeval right in the crotch with a tether and this game is a win. Game 23 and this time I won't forget to invade early. Team is Duncan and here I... Damn it. The game is going a tad long. I head into invade and forehead so hard that it cost me my own life. I'm going to take that as a sign from God that this is now officially bedtime. Game 23 is a loss, by the way. It's a brand new day, and before I fire up game 24, I've heard about a new parasite cheese. Gonna try that out real quick. Damn, yeah, that seems effective. Let's give it a spin. <laughs> You get it? Give it a spin? Cause like middle tree arc set? Yeah, don't worry about it. Game 24, and let's see if we can pull this off. We clear the beach at a good pace. Maybe we'll actually pull off the... Of course. We go punch for punch on moat dunking and eventually reach primeval o'clock around the same time. I get ready to hit the big bad with my worm, but my teammate drops a bubble on the primeval. Oh buddy, I can't even be mad at you. I've been there before. We're getting invaded and I panic pop my worm, that doesn't sound right, without even realizing that I wasn't at worm level 20. It falls short and I resort to pole dancing all over the primeval instead. You know, one of these days I'm actually gonna get one of these dumb cheese tactics to work correctly. Game 24 is a win. 
game 25, and the enemy team looks like they're having fun emoting over there. Let's see how ready our team is looking. We're a man down, but that's okay. We're actually not doing as bad as we could be. The moment of truth comes and here we go. Damn, that was only Primeval Slayer times two. If only we had Tether or some other debuff, that was crazy. I think next time I'll wait one more round. The other team tries to invade, but it's too late. Hashtag get wormed. Game 26, and gotta love opening things up with a dance party for morale. I'm eager to give my worm another go, but stupidly, while right at the threshold of primeval time, I get my dumb ass killed, losing 20 max worm power in the process. Even though I'm not at full power anymore, I figure what the hell, smack the primeval hard with whatever I got. Unfortunately, it ain't enough, and the other team locks up the win. Game 27, and I've realized I've got two major problems right now. One, there's no universal in-game way of instantly saying, stop drawing the primeval's aggro from so close. I'm trying to get him to shoot me so I can do a thing with my worm. And two, I need to get buffed on my own because God knows I can't coordinate team loadouts and freelance. I'm brainstorming future loadouts and game 27 is a win. Game 28, and I have a shifty idea to get charged with light with a different perk, then manually open my loadout and change over to high energy fire so I don't waste it killing an envoy or something else dumb. But the same thing thing happens. The primeval ain't looking at me and I need him to shoot and damage me in order to get max damage with my worm trick. My teammates don't know I'm doing a thing so they can't just back off the primeval and then after dodging an invader rocket I get killed at the last second by what else? Goddamn wolf pack rounds from a stupid ass G horn shot and I lose my times 20 worm buff me. Game 29 and all right, let's give this one more try. We get our primeval first so far, so good, but I'm having the same problems. It's really hard to pull an aggro and when he does shoot at me, I somehow mistime the shot, even though I thought I did a good job with my timing. Way too much is hinging on this one strategy and it's fun when it works, but the odds of me getting the one shot in freelance without telling the blueberry homies what's going on is slimmer than Cade being brought back to life. I don't know what time y'all at home have, but to me, it just went back to invade a clock. Game 30, I'm back on my Titan and I don't really know why. This game is not going well. The other team summons Primeval and we have 35 motes in the bank and I'm pretty sure one of my teammates is non-ironically using an exotic glaive. A teammate jumps through the portal to invade, gets a kill with a sword, then gets killed by a glaive? What the hell's going on over there? Hey, really quickly, want to see what it's like to be a YouTuber? Don't ask me how, but the other team flops mega hard and game 30 ends up being a win. Game 31, and I've got a devilish plan. Remember how earlier when I tried to do the one-two punch shoulder charge combo on Titan, but it would sometimes put my team in a bad spot because it would leave the primeval in a bubble? I'm gonna invade the enemy team and drop a bubble on their primeval. We will never speak of game 31 ever again. Game 32, and I'm changing up my loadout because I'm afraid of commitment. I want to tinker with the DMT a little bit, so I put on Hothead. Maybe that'll act like G-Horn Jr.? I don't know anymore. I decide to take a look at my team before the game begins, and... Yep. Sounds about right. Our team gets invaded and I'm reminded that, oh yeah, Xenophage is a thing. Hmm. I go to invade the other team and, hey, knock that trash off. What the hell, is it Super the Invader Day? Oh crap, bad time to reload, bad time to reload, bad time to reload! <laughs> it comes down to the wire, but game 32 is a loss. Game 33, and I've been inspired by our most recent invader, so I'm putting on the Xenophage. Just one more thing, which gives the biggest barrel. There we go. My team apparently isn't wasting any time. We get a quad dunk right out the gate, and I'm drooling on my way into the portal. Guardian down. Ooh, you just robbed that guardian. <laughs> Woo! I mean, yeah, it ain't Gallarhorn, but I'll be damned if that wasn't the most efficient invade I've had all day. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with Zeno for a while. We eventually go up Primeval to 30. I still think if I'm invading, I gotta work on having a backup Primeval damage option. I drop a bubble for final damage phase and game 33 is a win. Game 34, and I'm so disappointed by my first invade. One guy distracts me long enough so his team can dunk and then of all things, I get killed by a two-tailed fox. Invade two goes slightly better, but overall, 34 is not looking like my number. I go back in a third time and decide maybe I'll do a little banner shield trolling. Well, f 
me, I guess. Hey, I saw that. Even though I feel like I sucked a huge fat one, the boys back home deal with the primeval well, and game 34 is a win. Game 35 and whoa, what the hell? Damn, can't really be too sure, but I think one of my teammates just farted. My team is kind of late to dunk, and I'm kind of late to invade, but the good news is I got three blockers covering my ass, and I clean up. Not only that, my team is doing so well back home, I can go back through the portal again almost immediately. Note to self, sight and ramparts plus invading equals evil. I do get g-horned, but I already took out three again anyway. Our primeval damage is sloppy, but we had so much time to get the job done, we can't be held back. Game 35 is a win. Game 36, and goddamn, we are getting pecker slapped out here. Other teams up 70 to two, and we haven't even hit our first invade portal yet. Salt in the wound, I go through for invade one and get DMT flinched out of my power ammo kill and get friggin' embarrassed. <laughs> Leave me on the ground. They get primeval a bit before us, but I ain't going down without some kind of a fight. My next invasions are just flat out bad. I only get one pick each before getting nailed. But on my final invade, I catch a guy trying to polish off the primeval with the roaming super and manage to put him in the dirt, stopping the win and giving the primeval enough health back to give the blueberries of mine back home time to clean up. It wasn't pretty, but game 36 is a win. Game 37, and I'm hopping back on my hunter. I love that nine times out of 10, every gambit game starts with one guardian running around like a hamster on cocaine. Just waiting on this guy to dunk so I can go invade. Uh, hello? F you getting off on this or something? What are you doing? I guess he doesn't want to dunk because he wants to invade himself and I'm near the portal? Tough tits, nerd. Some days people beat you to the invade portal. Suck it up like the rest of us do. He finally stops edging his moats and I go in and I do a good job cleaning up. Imagine if I'd gotten in a bit earlier. We maintain a good lead and I continue to invade well, slaying out all the way up until our primeval goes down. GG. Game 38 and unfortunately my first invade is sloppy. I get one kill but my second target seems a bit too far away before where I get double teamed and not in the fun way. I don't do much better from there, but at the very end of the game, we get invaded and before they have a chance to roll back oodles of health on our prime evil, I smoke the guy from downtown and drop my tether on the big bad to give us a win. Not ideal, but at least I did something. Game 39 and we are off to a strong start. I head to the portal and ah, don't you do it. Ah cheese and crackers. Unfortunately, the guy gets killed pretty quick, but he did take someone with him. What are you going to do? The game pretty much goes off without a hitch. I'm digging Hunter right now, not only for camo invading, but for dropping your tether on the primeval for easy cleanup. Game 39 is a win. Game 40 and my team is slow to the first wave of dunking. Me and another guy both jump for the invasion portal at the same time, but both get g-horned into next week. File that under rocket shot of the year. I eventually get my shot to head in and do a damn good job cleaning up. Oh, hey there, cute bear Barricade, bruh. We managed to get our primeval up first, but the other team does a beautiful job of burning theirs down. I can't even be mad about it. Game 40 is a loss. Game 41, and right out the gate, the other team dunks triple large blockers, followed immediately by the invasion alarm going off. Now, I'm not psychic, but I somehow feel like I'm watching a movie I have seen many times before. I try to duck out of the middle area before it's too late. Apparently, my teammates didn't get the memo, though, and go down in each other's arms. I kill the invader, but I mean, doesn't matter much now, right? I managed to try and recover and dunk double large blockers after cleaning up the big mess left on our bank, but it's kind of too late. Other team gets primeval on the field way before us, and game 41 is a loss. Game 42, and whoa, dude out here dressed like he's about to go jogging at 2 a.m. I see you, buddy, even if your parents don't. I go to dunk after two waves and aw, aw, come on, you're going for a three wave ad clear before dunking once? Yeah, I'm sure that'll go perfectly. Oh, good. The old triple sub into we're all dead true combo. Really hope you found that 15th moat, bro. The other team is up by such a laughably high amount. I'm just gonna sit here and take a breather real quick. Ooh, heavy ammo. Shocker, game 42 is an L. Game 43, and can someone tell me what the f is the deal with people holding on to 14 when we have the opportunity to invade first with multiple blockers on the bank. Yay, he gets his 15th mode, yippee skippy. Too bad their thick juicy gray bar is all gone now. I end up getting a four piece with my invade anyway, but that's not the point. God damn it, it could have been so much sweeter. This one is coming down to the wire, but I hop through to invade and mega feed that primeval with a beefy four piece. By the time I get back home, the blueberries have come through and game 43 is a win. 
Game 44, and unfortunately I do get undercut on my way to the invasion portal, but I'm not about to start any trouble with a guy who's wanted by the FBI. My loadout is actually working great right now at AdClear. Kinda happy with it. I go to Dunk 15 and this bastard hijacks my invade portal again. It's enough to make a man want to jump out of a plane. I finally get my shot and lock up a clean three-piece. I try to drop my tether down on the primeval in hopes we can murder it quick, but we get damage gated and the enemy invade undoes all my hard work. GG Game 44 is a loss. Game 45 and we're not off to a great start. Enemy teams up a little bit and they get the first invade. I hop through the portal and although I do get a kill, I get freaking wormed in the process. Oh, the humanity. My second invade goes a hair better. I only get two, but I've delayed them long enough to the point that we get primeval first. Fat load of good that does though, because they managed to burn theirs down quicker and take the win, GG. Game 46 and oh damn, got dropped into a game already in progress, but not too far behind. Eyes up, baby. We get a juicy quad dunk and I'm thirsting for the invade hard, but I get beaten to the punch not once, but twice. F plus for me. It's all good though. Eventually I make my way in, get a two piece, then come back home and help out with the primeval. Boy, are you glaving the primeval? You know we get free power out here, right? Damn. I don't know what's going on, but game 46 is a win. Game 47 and I'm kicking myself because I'm just a hair late with my invade. They clean up the mess at the bank and send another blocker right as I get the kill. No matter. I get a nice triple kill before coming back home and that's good enough. I stop an invader on our turf and go back in for round two. I got a golden opportunity to slap a bunch of them silly, but quickly get g -horn down after my first kill. Enemy tries to pop a bubble on our primeval, but it just walks out. Man, I'm sure glad I've never tried doing that before. I go back for a final invade, but it's a moot point. Our primeval is dead, and game 47 is a win. Game 48, my teammate's got 11 motes and momentarily gets distracted before coming to his senses and running on over for a dunk. Not ideal, but could have been a lot worse. Doesn't really matter though, because when I do invade, I immediately get a fistful of wolf pack rounds shoved directly up my ass. I get to go back for round two right after we send over a quad block and take out one guy before Chesty LaRue takes me out and them with another Gallerhorn. At this point, my invades ain't going too great, but I'm determined to get a good one before the game is over. I get one down with Zeno and go for another. Oh, what? Yo, that angle though with Whisper of the Worm? What's happening right now? Game 48 is a win, but I don't feel like I earned it. Game 49 and time for another game of good news, bad news. Bad news. They get their first dunking done way before us and we are behind with the opening portal. Good news, I head over after a triple dunk for extra pressure. Dude, your name is Gambit? That's gotta mean something, but I don't know what. Hey, check me out. A primary kill in this economy? <laughs> Weird. I got another shot to invade, but instead I decide we're already up so far ahead. Let's just wrap this game up. Polish off the invader real quick, drop the tether, and that primeval's down for the count. I guess not all of your problems need to be solved by invading, but it definitely is more fun. Game 50, and you know what? F*** it. We're at the end of a long, weird, and painful road. Why not embrace the suffering? I'm putting Gallerhorn back on. All right, time to open up that portal and- Oh God! Y'all are going for a triple rotation before dunking? No, boys, no! Even though we predictably get invaded first, they get smoked by a rocket right away, so we don't lose our massive trip rotation gray bar. I head in and only bring down one before getting gunned down. All good, though, because later I head back a second time and manage to spill 20 motes before getting sent back and I will take it. Remember boys, when you're getting Titan supered, you don't have to outrun the missile, only your nearest ally. I Hadouken down the invader before the primeval gets healed anymore, and game 50 is a win. I think I need a scotch. Even though you people are a bunch of animals who requested I do this to myself, I appreciate all of you, and big thank you from me as our channel gets closer to half a million subs. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're a regular, head down to the comment section and tell me what game you want me to do a 50 of next outside of Destiny. Check out the Patreon if you're curious, and I'll see you on the Twitch channel. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.